Have you ever had your heart ripped out by someone you thought would be there forever? Thought you'd found the one, only to find out she's already moved on while you're left picking up the pieces? If you've felt that gut-wrenching pain and wondered how to take back control, you're in the right place. Today we're diving into the brutal reality most men face, but never talk about. This isn't some soft, feel-good advice. This is about facing the truth, turning your pain into power, and becoming the man she'll regret ever letting go. Comment below if you're ready to hear the real, raw truth. No sugarcoating here. Are you watching till the end? Here's the deal. Heartbreak is something every man goes through, but society doesn't want you to talk about it. They'd rather you bury it, ignore it, pretend it doesn't bother you, but we all know that's a lie. Heartbreak is one of the deepest pains a man can feel. The brutal truth, no one cares about a man's heartbreak. They'll call you weak, tell you to move on, act like you're not even allowed to feel. But we're not here to bury feelings. We're here to face them head on and use that pain to fuel the greatest transformation of your life. This is a video for men who are ready to wake up confront the harsh reality and become stronger because of it. I'm not here to sugarcoat it, not here to give you feel-good fluff. This is about survival, about power, about reclaiming your worth. If you're still with me, then buckle up, because we're diving deep into the harsh truths no one else is talking about. And before we go any further, make sure to subscribe to the channel or join as a member if you believe in supporting real content that speaks directly to men, let's take back control. So, let's get this straight. Heartbreak hurts because you invested time, energy, and probably a lot of money into someone who no longer cares about you. It's harsh, but it's true. She's moved on, and if you're honest with yourself, she's probably happier now than she was with you. That sting you feel, that's your ego, your mind telling you that all that investment was a waste. But here's where most men go wrong. They let that pain destroy them, instead of using it to build themselves up. This is where Stoicism comes in. The first rule of Stoicism is that you can't control anyone's actions but your own. She's gone? Fine. It's time to shift focus from her back to yourself. Heartbreak is actually the best teacher you'll ever have if you're willing to learn. Instead of thinking about what you lost, think about what you gained. A chance to wake up, to rebuild, to become stronger than ever. Here's how you do it. Stop reaching out to her. Stop checking her social media. Stop wondering if she's with someone else. That time you spend obsessing. It's making her stronger and you weaker. Instead, start a daily ritual of improvement. Every time you feel that pang of pain or regret, you get up and do something to make yourself better. Hit the gym, read something that makes you smarter, push yourself past that comfort zone, because every step away from her is a step towards the man you're meant to become. Let's break it down. Number one. Understanding heartbreak through a stoic lens. So, let's get this straight. Heartbreak hurts because you invested time, energy, and probably a lot of money into someone who no longer cares about you. It's harsh, but it's true. She's moved on, and if you're honest with yourself, she's probably happier now than she was with you. That sting you feel, that's your ego, your mind telling you that all that investment was a waste. But here's where most men go wrong. They let that pain destroy them instead of using it to build themselves up. Here's the thing about heartbreak that society gets wrong. They make it out like it's some tragic end, something to just move on from. But men, if you understand heartbreak from a stoic perspective, you'll see it's not an end, but a beginning. Heartbreak is your mind's way of giving you a blank slate. It's the ultimate reset button. And the real question here is, are you going to let that reset button sit there or are you going to hit it with full force and start fresh? 
When you invest in someone, you're giving them pieces of your life, moments of your day, energy that's irreplaceable. And it's easy to feel like all of that's wasted. But if you're viewing this from the lens of stoicism, what you realize is that none of it was truly wasted because it taught you something invaluable. You learn your limits, your values, and most importantly, what you're willing to tolerate. And here's the deal. A stoic man knows his tolerance level and never lets anyone push him beyond it. If she's out of your life, good. That's a lesson learned. You move forward with that knowledge and you don't let anyone else break your boundaries. The way to win at this is by taking that pain and channeling it. Instead of sitting around wondering why she left or what went wrong, you take every ounce of that hurt and you use it to build a version of yourself that you never even imagined. Heartbreak through a stoic lens isn't something to mourn, it's something to use, to sharpen you, to make you more resilient. The pain, the disappointment, the loss, it's all fuel. You control how that fuel gets used. Number two, why men experience heartbreak differently. So, let's talk about why heartbreak hits men harder than it does women. When a relationship ends, most men don't have the same support system or social outlet to lean on. Women tend to have friends, family, even strangers willing to lend a sympathetic ear. But men, society tells us to suck it up, to be strong, to move on without processing anything. You're expected to be a rock, emotionless, unbreakable. And here's the harsh truth. You can't talk to everyone about your pain. Most people won't care, and those who do may see it as weakness. Let's break down why heartbreak is a uniquely intense experience for men. First off, the societal expectations placed on men are unlike anything women face. From a young age, men are taught that they are the providers, the protectors, the ones who keep it together. So when a relationship ends, it doesn't just feel like a loss of companionship, it feels like a personal failure. You weren't just rejected, you failed at one of the core things society expects of you, maintaining stability. This isn't about ego, it's about the identity you've built around that relationship. When she leaves, it's not just her walking away. It feels like your entire identity has been compromised. The reality is, most men don't have the luxury of a support system. Women can express vulnerability, can cry on a friend's shoulder, can even get encouragement from people around them. But men? If you open up about your heartbreak, chances are you'll be met with awkward silence or worse, ridicule. People don't see a man's heartbreak as legitimate, and that makes the pain even more isolating. And here's the part that stings the most. While she's out there sharing her story and finding comfort, you're left to pick up the pieces alone. But don't let that discourage you. Let it drive you. The fact that you have to do this alone is exactly what makes it powerful. No one is coming to save you, and that's a blessing in disguise. This journey is yours and yours alone. And once you realize that the only one who can pull you out of this pain is you, that's when real growth starts. You don't need the world's sympathy. What you need is inner strength, resilience, and a plan to build yourself into someone who doesn't break, someone who only gets stronger. Accept that this experience is different for you, that it's lonelier, that it's harder, and then let that fuel you to rise above it all. Number three, the power of emotional self-control. Society has fed you a lie that controlling your emotions means burying them, acting like they don't exist. That's nonsense. Real emotional control is about mastering how and when you let those emotions surface. Let's say you're angry or feeling worthless after a breakup. You could drown it out with distractions, but that's weak. Real control means sitting with that pain, understanding it, and then using it as fuel. It's like harnessing fire. If you let it burn wild, it'll destroy everything. But if you learn to channel it, you can use that fire to forge a better you. 
Mastering emotional self-control is like training for a fight, one against yourself. The worst mistake most men make. They try to ignore the pain, brush it off or drown it out with distractions that leave them weaker in the end. But real men, they understand that emotions, especially negative ones, aren't meant to be ignored. They're meant to be mastered. Imagine every emotion, every surge of anger, sadness or regret as a weight on the barbell. The more you lift, the stronger you get, but only if you lift with control. Going through heartbreak. Treat it as mental weightlifting. Here's a practical approach. When you feel a powerful emotion creeping in, pause. Don't react immediately. Recognize it. Maybe it's anger or maybe it's loneliness. Look at it, own it, and then choose to act. This is how you begin to turn raw emotion into power. When you feel anger, channel it into physical activity. Take it to the gym, to your craft, to something constructive. Pain has no power over you unless you let it. Take control of your emotions and watch how your entire life starts to fall in line. Here's the truth. Most men are out there acting on impulses they can't control. They let their emotions dictate their actions, their moods, their self-worth. But you, you're choosing to be different. Emotional control is about being deliberate. When you're in charge of how you feel and what you do with those feelings, you become unstoppable. Women might leave, life might knock you down, but when you're the master of your emotions, you're untouchable. Control them, don't suppress them. Suppressing is weakness, mastery is strength. Number four, turning pain into fuel. Heartbreak hurts and no amount of rationalization will change that. But pain is also the strongest fuel in existence. Some of the most successful men on the planet have been driven by pain, by loss, by rejection. Don't think of heartbreak as the end. Think of it as your call to action. You're at a fork in the road. You can either let this pain cripple you or use it to fuel a life you never thought possible. The reality is that pain is one of the most powerful motivators you'll ever experience. When you're comfortable, when life is easy, there's no reason to push yourself. Pain strips away all the fluff all the comfort, all the excuses, and leaves you with one option, to rise and heartbreak. Heartbreak is the ultimate pain. It's personal, it's deep, and it hits at the core of who you are. But that's also what makes it the best fuel for transformation. If you can take that heartbreak, that betrayal, and use it as a launch pad, there's no limit to how far you can go. Here's what you do. Set goals that are so ambitious they scare you. Goals that demand every ounce of your focus, every drop of your energy. Pain has a way of sharpening your focus, of making everything else seem less important. Let that focus drive you. If you're feeling weak, good. Use that weakness as fuel to get stronger. If you're feeling angry, perfect. Use that anger as motivation to prove yourself. This is how you turn heartbreak from something that destroys you into something that empowers you. Think of every great man you admire. Chances are they didn't get where they are by coasting through life. They've been broken, betrayed, rejected. But instead of letting that pain define them, they used it. Let this pain drive you to become so powerful, so disciplined, that even if she looked back, she wouldn't recognize you because you didn't let her define you, you let her departure refine you. There's a difference between being broken and being forged. Pain is a forge, and you're being given the chance to create something indestructible. Number five, building a vision for your future. If you want to rise above heartbreak, you need a vision. You need a clear, powerful image of what you want your life to look like beyond this pain. Most men are so focused on what they've lost, they forget to think about what they can gain. So, right now, start imagining a future where you are unstoppable. Picture yourself stronger, 
more disciplined, more confident than ever before. The problem with most people who face heartbreak, they get stuck in a loop, constantly thinking about what they lost, the past memories, the what ifs. But a man who is serious about growth knows that dwelling on the past gets him nowhere. Instead, he turns his eyes forward, creating a vision so compelling that the past becomes irrelevant. Think about the man you want to become, the one who's unfazed, who stands tall, who can look anyone in the eye and say, this is my life and no one controls it but me. To create this vision, start with concrete goals. Break them down by month, year and even decade. Visualize where you want to be in six months. Picture the kind of confidence, the kind of discipline you'll need to get there. Imagine the friends, the experiences, the life that aligns with that vision. And then, every single day, take a step closer to it. This isn't about proving anything to her or anyone else. This is about proving it to yourself. You owe it to the man in the mirror to build a future so powerful that heartbreak becomes just a tiny stepping stone along the way. Building a vision isn't just about setting goals. It's about aligning every action, every choice with that future you're creating. It's about showing up every day and doing the hard work, even when it's uncomfortable. Especially when it's uncomfortable. This is your life, your chance, your one shot to build something extraordinary. Don't waste it looking back. The greatest revenge, the sweetest success, isn't about someone else. It's about building a life so solid, so complete, that you wouldn't trade it for anything. Not even for her. That's power. That's freedom. That's the future you're building. Number six, physical strength as a pathway to emotional strength. This is crucial. Every man needs to understand the power of physical strength, not just for looks, but for the discipline it builds. Heartbreak leaves you feeling weak, helpless. Physical training is the exact opposite. It's the daily practice of pushing past your limits, of conquering yourself every single day. When you're in the gym, you're in control. That's something heartbreak can't take from you. When you hit the gym, it's more than just building muscle. You're building resilience. Every rep, every set, every drop of sweat is a testament to your ability to face pain and push through. The gym becomes a place where you're reminded that the only thing you control in this world is yourself. Physical strength isn't just about muscle, it's about forging a mind that can endure. The stronger your body, the stronger your mental resilience. This is a pathway to power that no one can take from you. Consider this, every workout you complete Every bit of progress you see in the mirror is a reminder that you can build something out of nothing. Heartbreak may have torn you down, but the gym is where you rebuild piece by piece. You're creating a version of yourself that's unshakable, and that's something no one, not even the woman who broke you, can affect. Physical strength translates directly into mental discipline, into the kind of resilience that life can't tear apart. So, here's the plan. When the weight of heartbreak starts to feel overwhelming, hit the weights. Turn every emotion, every ounce of pain, into raw strength. Let every bead of sweat be a reminder that you're transforming, that you're becoming unbreakable. The discipline, the focus, the drive you build in the gym will carry over to every area of your life. This isn't just about getting stronger physically, it's about building a life that can't be easily shaken. Because when your body is strong, your mind is unstoppable. Number 7. Redefining your identity after heartbreak. A breakup is more than a relationship ending. It's a chance to redefine yourself. Who are you without her? Who are you without the baggage, the expectations? This is your opportunity to strip away the parts of you that weren't serving you, to discard any habits or mindsets that made you vulnerable. Heartbreak has a way of exposing the parts of ourselves we might have been ignoring. When you're stripped of everything you thought was solid, you're left with only yourself. 
And that's exactly where real change happens. Most men go through heartbreak and scramble to fill the void, to find someone new, to escape the emptiness. But men who understand growth know that this emptiness is their greatest ally. It's an invitation to redefine, to become the man you've always wanted to be, but didn't know how to reach. Think of it as a clean slate. You no longer have to live by the expectations you once set with her. You're free to set new goals, new standards, new non-negotiables. This is your chance to rebuild, to remove any weaknesses and replace them with values, habits and a mindset that serve you. You're not defined by the relationship that ended. You're defined by the man you become afterward. This is where your true power lies. So ask yourself, what kind of man do you want to be? What kind of life do you want to live? Let heartbreak be the turning point where you shed the parts of yourself that were holding you back and step fully into your power. This isn't about revenge or proving anything to her. It's about proving to yourself that you are unstoppable, that you are resilient, that you are capable of creating an identity that's strong, self-assured and entirely your own. Number 8. The importance of brotherhood and support. You can't do this alone and you shouldn't try to. Men need a brotherhood, a support system that understands their struggle. Surround yourself with people who want to see you win, who will push you, who will hold you accountable. This isn't about venting or whining. It's about support that keeps you moving forward, keeps you grounded and reminds you that you're not alone in this. A real brotherhood is more than just friends. It's a group of men who understand the journey you're on, who've been through their own struggles and who know what it takes to rise above. The truth is, men are often encouraged to go it alone, to be lone wolves. But no successful man has ever achieved greatness in isolation. Brotherhood gives you strength, accountability and perspective. When you're surrounded by men who are also on a path of growth, you're more likely to stay committed, to push yourself harder, to rise above. Look for communities, clubs or groups where men are focused on growth. This isn't about complaining or sharing sob stories. It's about creating a space where men build each other up. If you can't find a group, create one. Find like-minded men who are serious about leveling up and start connecting. Talk about your goals, share your struggles and push each other to stay disciplined. Brotherhood isn't about dependency, it's about collective strength. Remember, the strength of the wolf is in the pack. And when you have a pack of men who refuse to settle for mediocrity, who hold you accountable, who push you to be the best version of yourself, there's nothing that can stop you. The right brotherhood is the best asset you can have on this journey. Number 9. Setting Boundaries and Self-Respect When a relationship ends, it's easy to lose your sense of self-worth. But this is precisely the time to establish boundaries and respect yourself more than ever. Set boundaries with everyone in your life. Don't let people who don't respect you have any say in how you live. Your standards should rise with each experience of betrayal or heartbreak, not fall. Boundaries are more than just lines in the sand. They're the foundations of self-respect. Too many men go through heartbreak and think it's a reflection of their worth. But the reality is, heartbreak is a reflection of what you were willing to tolerate. And if that tolerance was low, then now is the time to raise it. Setting boundaries is about knowing your worth and protecting it. It's about refusing to let anyone take advantage of your time, your energy or your peace. Think of it this way. If you don't respect yourself, no one else will. Boundaries are the rules you set for how others treat you and they start with how you treat yourself. This means no more chasing after people who don't value you. No more wasting energy on those who don't reciprocate Heartbreak is a reminder that respect is earned, not given. Set standards for yourself that are so high, they repel anyone who isn't worthy. Here's the takeaway. Boundaries are non-negotiable. 
they're a sign of strength, of self-respect, and of growth. When you establish them, you're not just protecting yourself from others, you're showing yourself that you deserve better. And the stronger your boundaries, the more powerful you become, both in your relationships and in every other area of your life. Number 10. Embracing solitude for self-discovery. Society is afraid of solitude, but for a man, it's essential. Alone time is where you find yourself, where you assess who you are without any external influences. In solitude, you're free to rebuild, to reflect, to redefine. This isn't loneliness, it's a man's workshop, where you strip everything down to the essentials and rebuild better. Solitude is where the real work begins. It's not just about being alone, it's about being with yourself, understanding your strengths, your weaknesses, your aspirations. Heartbreak has a way of making you question everything, but solitude is where you find those answers. It's where you start to understand who you are when no one is watching, when there's no one else around to influence you. This is where you start to rebuild, to craft a life based solely on your own standards, values and ambitions. The greatest men in history have spent time alone, contemplating their paths, refining their goals and understanding themselves on a level most people never reach. Solitude isn't a punishment, it's a gift. It's a place where distractions fall away, where you're left with nothing but your own thoughts and aspirations. And in that quiet, you'll find clarity, strength and direction. The world might tell you that being alone is sad, but a man who embraces solitude is a man who is truly free. So, embrace the silence. Let solitude be your sanctuary, your training ground. Use this time to craft a vision so clear, a purpose so strong, that nothing and no one can shake it. When you're content with your own company, you become a man who doesn't need validation from anyone else. Solitude is where you find your true self, and when you've found that, you've found a foundation that no heartbreak, no setback, can ever take away from you. Let's bring it all together, men. Heartbreak isn't a dead end. It's a turning point, a brutal but necessary wake-up call. It's a chance to shed your old self and forge someone unbreakable, someone who doesn't just survive but thrives in the face of adversity. The pain you're feeling right now, that's the fuel. The solitude, that's your workshop. And the journey ahead, that's the life you're building, one step one choice, one act of resilience at a time. Remember, you're not here to just get over it. You're here to use this experience to become a force so powerful that no setback, no person, no circumstance can shake the man you're creating. You've been given the gift of starting fresh, of defining yourself without anyone else's influence. And if you use this time wisely, if you channel every ounce of that pain into building a life of strength, discipline and purpose, then you'll look back on this heartbreak and realize it was the best thing that ever happened to you. But don't keep this realization to yourself. Comment below. I'm forging a stronger self if you're committed to this journey, if you're ready to turn heartbreak into the foundation of something unstoppable and share this video there are men out there who are in the exact same place as you, feeling that same pain, needing that same push. Don't let them stay in the dark. Help them find the strength within themselves by sharing this message. Let's create a community of men who don't just overcome. They rise, they conquer, and they build lives that no one else can shake.